Well, it's Sunday, August 6th, and here we are back up at the hangar. And uh, today, probably going to not be too much video. And every time I say that, I end up with like a 15-minute video. But um, we're going to... We're gonna drill this out today. We're gonna to put the wing tip on here and drill it out, uh, get that ready for uh, gluing together. I don't have the adhesive for it yet. Um, I shot a question out to Aerosport to see which exact adhesive they rec recommend. The instructions just say Scotch Weld, uh, but there's quite a few different varieties of Scotch Weld out there with different work times and open times and cure times. So. I'm uh, going to see what they recommend. I've seen somebody on the build log, I think they're using 2216, and I think that's, what did I say, that's a 90 minute mm -hmm. cure time? Or not a cure time, but a set time, work time. Um, so we'll see what um, Aerosport comes back with on that, just out of curiosity, and I will update you on that. But for now, we're just going to We'll get the holes ready to go, and I don't know, we're we gonna get that other wing going, do you think? Depends on how much, yeah. depends on how long this takes. Do the, the light. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could do the light too. All right. Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of chilly out today, so we're um, got the door closed and actually have to wear jackets. All right, nut plates are riveted into the to the rib, the wingtip rib, and don't forget to uh, don't forget that those nut plates go on the inside. The inside being the inside of the wingtip. So this is the side that faces the end rib on the wing. Where's the nut plate? There we go. So it'll be like that. The screw will come through and. Uh, We'll hold that on. So we've got that done. Uh, next thing is we are going to do the nav and strobe light uh, mounting holes. So we'll get that done. Um, we won't get those installed yet. We don't, uh, they, I think probably just to protect them while we're moving stuff around. We won't put those in, but we'll get the holes ready to go and uh, yeah, see what the next step is after that. Uh, don't have um, information on the adhesive yet so I'm waiting for a word back from Aerosport on that I think I already mentioned that so we're not going to get to the adhesive part of it today and also curious if you have done these wingtips I'm pretty sure I've seen in um, on the EAA builders log some have actually riveted uh, riveted the wingtip on 
through those holes. And I'm just curious if, if you have, uh, or if you have not, or if there are um, reasons to or not to. Um, I know it's obviously it adds, adds surface or rivets um, on the surface of the wingtip, but I mean, there's already, there's already a whole bunch of them here and we'd just be adding another row of rivets there. Not, probably not that many rivets, but anyways, just curious if, uh, if you've done anything like that. Already got this uh, nav strobe light installed for the one uh, the left wing tip and something to note on that is if you are using these uh, which are these AVO yep. these AVO um, lights these are the ones that came uh, this was the option from Rands and it's the light comes with a, a screw uh, however this is a metric screw so it doesn't fit the nut plate but what you probably want to do is this screw does come with an o-ring on it oh you got it there comes with an o-ring uh, so you'll probably you'll want to well at least I am uh, take that o-ring off of this one and put it on the one that comes with the RANS kit um, so yeah so make sure that gets sealed up and what other notes do we have? Um, the sizes, the drill sizes. Yeah, we didn't do what Rand said and, and cut the whole space. Gotcha. We oh, in the, we just, yeah, let's flip this thing over. I'll show you. So this is the doubler plate, I guess, or mount plate that goes inside of the wingtip. And you want to use, with these particular stoves, you're going to use this, this hole here for the nut plate. And we didn't cut this whole thing out. Uh, I just drilled it to a... One, three-eighths. Three-eighths uh, for the wire uh, bundle to go through. And then this one on the back is the little stabilizer pin that goes through. And that was a number... 22, thank you. So we did a 22 on that, uh, 3 8 in the middle, and then that's a number 40 for the nut plate holes, and then a number 11 for the uh, screw to pass through. Oh, and don't forget the, there's a rubber gasket that goes on there too. Oh, you got the rubber gasket. That rubber gasket goes between the light, the gasket, and then this plate is on the inside of the wing, and you rivet that nut plate through the outside to the inside and that's what kind of holds it up in there. Well, started off completely cloudy this morning and we had some rain but it was uh, nice and cool and it has turned into just a beautiful day. I think we're in the mid 70s or something. Wind's blowing a little bit, sun's shining but uh, yeah really nice day. Well we are done for today and uh, we've got, I put the wing tip up there and got our, we'll be putting our wings away here in a second. 
but uh, this, this is rant time for me. Uh, you notice we don't have any tools right there. Our toolbox is not there. Uh, we've got this big air show coming up next weekend and someone in their infinite wisdom decided that they should not allow any of the hangar owners or aircraft owners access to the hangars during the air show uh, starting on Thursday. And on top of that, they've been having contractors on the field. We're inside of a secure area. They've had contractors on the field putting up grandstands and tents and stuff. And uh, two, three doors down from us, Hangar had an attempted break-in the other night. Uh, don't know, think that, the, we're pretty sure that somebody was casing the, the hangar because they have their door open a lot. And so somebody went in there knowing what they were probably... Well, yeah, they tried to get in. They couldn't get in, um, but they knew what they were after. So we've elected to take all of our expensive tools home. Unfortunately, we can't take the airplane with us. And I guess just prayed that someone doesn't try to get into the hangar and vandalize something. That would be catastrophic. But, yeah, um, you know, the, the air show organizers... If they would at least just let us, I, you know, and we have talked to other people up here, and we've all said, like, we'd be more than happy to pay for tickets to the air show, but if they'd let us have access to our hangars, that'd be great. We can come down here and get some shade or whatever, but, hey, they might lose out on the sale of an $8 hot dog or a $10 bottle of Coke or whatever. So, um, we're, there isn't anybody up here that's happy about this situation. So, with all that being said, we're not going to be up here probably for another two weeks, we're thinking, since uh, uh, probably not gonna get up here this week and probably after the air show next week. We'll, we'll probably zip up here on whatever day we can, come up. we can come up. Okay, we'll probably come up Monday, make sure everything is okay. But anyways, so hey, everybody cross your fingers for us that nothing happens up here. We've had some little nefarious activities going on while they're setting up the, for this air show. So hopefully everything is uh, safe and okay. Um, oh, I want to pull the GPS and the radio out of the airplane, oh, yeah. too. Um, hopefully everything's okay uh, when we come back. So, anyways, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, have a great evening, and um, that's it for now.